Yeah. Um, first off, let me. Uh, I want to thank uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me this blessing of coaching these guys and um, for the journey that that we're going to be on. Uh, secondly, want to thank the fans for showing up. Man, students were incredible. Fans were great, and uh, I want to apologize that we didn't give an effort that was worthy of wearing a K-State uniform, and that falls solely on my shoulders. I did not do a very good job of having our guys prepared today. Uh, Coach McMahon did an unbelievable job with his team, and this was an old, good old-fashioned butt whooping, and so give them all the credit for tonight. Why did the offense sort of struggle to, to get going? Was it not finding open looks, or was there something that they did defensively to limit you guys? I'll just credit their defense. They, they seem to make everything difficult for us. I have to go watch the film and figure out the why, but it looked like everything um, that we tried to do, they made difficult for us. We saw Doug start tonight for the first time this year. What did you like from him? What do you still want to see him improve? Yeah, Doug did a, a, a great job uh, with a start, um, and we got a ways to go. And because your know, point guards are like pitchers, they're judged by wins and losses. And so um, what we all have, but this isn't Doug's fault. This is my fault. How'd you see him improve defensively as over the course of the season? Well, we've only played three games. He's he's learning. He's learning to guard the way we want him to guard, especially off the ball. And so and he's trying, and he cares. He has got got a big heart. So excited about this journey. What are just kind of your emotions and feelings with 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 with, with Cam being out there and obviously oh, yeah. him playing super well and then you know you know I I, I love Cam Carter and I, I'm so thankful for him you know uh, uh, for what he's given to K State and um, you know it actually was a little bit more emotional than I thought it was going to be you know to see him and stuff and uh, but then it sucked watching him play so um, and that was truth to, but I'm I'm happy for him he gets to play at home his family gets to see him play and. And so, you know, I felt like um, he gave us a lot while he was here, and I felt like I gave him a lot while he was here. And, uh, you know, I'll be a, a cheerleader for him the rest of the way. Jerome, when you look at the stat sheet, what, what bothers you the most after a game like that? The rebounding. The rebounding. And, um, you know, um, the, the, this, and I, once again, this falls solely on my shoulders, right? Like, you know, you start like looking at teams who have won the national championship in the past and stuff like that. And uh, when we had Baylor, we were 274th in the country in defensive rebounding, right? Um, and so you decide, okay, well, we can make up for it by being a better shooting team or not turning the ball over, those type of things. But at the end of the day, man, you got to rebound, right? You can't get pounded on the glass the way they pounded us on the glass. And, uh, and you know, um, they're, they're athletic, right? But everybody in the Big 12 is athletic too. So uh, it's an area that needs to improve. And the great thing about it is it can be corrected. It's only the third game of the year, uh, and so there is still plenty of basketball left to play. Uh, what do you sort of tell the guys heading into these next few games to make sure that you know they, they get focused and they, they don't let this loss spiral? Yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be real easy to get them focused on Saturday. All right, so that that that's <laughs> you know the eye in the sky doesn't lie, and so it, it's going to be real easy and. Uh, you know, it's not the first time we've lost a game. I just don't like losing at home. You know, I mean, like, that's just one of our goals is to go undefeated at home, and, and we blew that tonight. And, uh, you know, and, and that, that's on me. And so I, I'm pissed about that. I know I'm sure the film will show you guys a little bit more, but was there a reason why you guys struggled to rebound? Yeah, they jump really high. Yeah, my man in the back with the hat right there. There we go. Hey, Coach. Um, what is one positive thing that you can take this evening from the loss? Even though you lost, what was some? What, what was one positive thing that, that that you saw with your team this evening? Um, well, great thing about this is early in the year and it doesn't end your season. That's the positive. Towards the end of the game, Cam and Coleman collided with a hard foul, and then both seemed to be pretty animated afterwards. 
what have you seen what have you heard and what's your take on what went down between those two yeah I didn't see anything I, we, we were not fouling we was going to let him dribble the clock out he was going to take a shot clock violation and so I don't know what happened but so Thanks a lot. Go Cats.